poder escuchar y ver pequeños desprendimientos para escuchar cracks y ruidos todo el tiempo en el frente porque es un glaciar muy activo. So we are closer to have the first view of the glacier and perhaps you're asking yourself what a glacier is or how a glacier is formed. To understand it very easy, we can compare a glacier with a river of ice. So how Perito Moreno glacier is formed? At the top of the mountains it snows and it takes the snow more or less 20 years in Patagonia to be ice because in winter it snows, in summer the snow melts and lose air, next week it freeze again. After a couple of years this snow is firm and after that very compact ice. At the same time the snow is falling, it's on disorder ice making pressure and pushing the old ice that begins to flow down the valleys like a river but of ice. This glacier is a very fast glacier because the accumulation area is 1,500 meters, here we are 185, so it's a steep slope, and the whole glacier is on rock. That means in some minutes you're going to see 40 to 60 meters above the lake level. It's like a building with 20 floors of ice, but the glacier continues under the water another 100 meters more of ice under the water, and it comes up to the bedrock of the lake. Between the bedrock and the ice, there is always a little bit of water, and with this water, the glacier slides very fast, So this glacier flows per day in the faster part, two meters a day, and that's a lot. And to compare it, a glacier in the Alps, for example, flows three to four meters a year. So two meters a day of velocity for a glacier is huge. And that's why with a little bit of good luck and patience, during the day you will see a few small carvings. You're going to hear cracks and noises all the time because it's a very active glacier.